We went on holiday recently and it was all a little bit coffee led as it would be. And a new friend of mine, Anna said, oh, bought some coffee for you to try. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. So on today's video, we're gonna be answering a question that I never quite thought I would end up asking, especially on video. What does it feel like to drink the world's most expensive coffee? So, picture this. You receive a text message whilst you're traveling. You just get off your plane and someone says, you should have a read of this article. You then have a read of said article, followed by another message that says, I've got it in my bag for us to try. And that is an amazing Costa Rican coffee grown in the Tarazu region by Don Cayito. Now this farm is awesome and up until, well fairly recently, was the producer of the world's most expensive coffee, selling at the time for over $300 per pound. Now it is a Costa Rican geisha, it's a honey processed coffee as well, so you should know to a degree what to expect from things like that. But we're gonna give it a try anyway and, well, actually see what this coffee tastes like. But check out the website as well, cafedoncaito.com if you wanna learn anything more about these. So we've gone for a whole bean option. We have actually done a pour over coffee for this particular test. There it is. Which is kind of cool, isn't it? Just, just to think that it's you get a chance to try something that's won the cup of excellence in quite a major way. Now it's got, it has a little bit of a tea-like fragrance to it, but with the, at the risk of sounding like a massive snob by saying this, it's got a very complex fragrance. You couldn't just, I couldn't just give that a, a big inhale and say, oh, it's got all of these sort of flavor notes on the actual smell itself, because it feels very complicated, which is kind of cool, and hopefully that's what it should be anyway. Subtly smoky, it's a fairly medium dark roast, this particular coffee. But it also has a little air of sweetness to it as well. So we should probably give it a proper try, shouldn't we? So let's see what we get on our first taste. Now it has been allowed to cool just a little fraction poured through the Chemex as well. Hmm, it's, you can start to pick out two kind of almost opposite flavors, but in quite a subtle way. So the first flavor you get, which I would say is the, the predominant flavor, the base note as it were, is dark chocolate, but quite subtle you're not gonna be tasting bursts of chocolate, but that's what it reminds you of. And then you get this, and I say delicate, because it is almost superly delicate, flavor of like a sweet orange. Um, again, these aren't super pronounced flavors. These are ones that you almost have to sit there and think about for a little bit. And I don't mean that in a negative way at all. It's absolutely delicious. But the, the chocolate and the orange, you can, also, you can almost imagine like a, either a Terry's chocolate orange or a Jaffa cake having that kind of sweetness from the chocolate and the, and the orange itself, but it kind of isn't like that at all at the same time. Super subtle, but it's intriguing. It's just, yeah, like almost got like a tea-like finish as well, but it's not, it's not bitter like tea. It has like a, that, that delicate sweetness to it as well. But the chocolate and the orange flavors are the predominant force in these ones. Like color wise, I mean, it's, you know, you make anything in a Chemex, it's gonna come out great, but it's just this incredible, almost um, like sweet tea color, slightly darker than sweet tea, but it just has that beautiful kind of amber color, which is, is awesome. And as it starts to, hmm. Yeah, almost like nectarini on top there as well. It's as it's cooling down, it, it, it develops even more. It's, it's quite a little experience actually. I feel really privileged to try this. Hmm. So 
what does it feel like to drink the world's most expensive coffee? Well, yeah, really good. <laughs> really, really good. I'm really grateful to Anna for giving me these bags of coffee as well. I think as a bit of a treat, it's great to try this. Obviously, we know that it's been surpassed now and the coffee that is now the world's most expensive is currently selling in a, a coffee shop in San Francisco, I believe, for about $75 a cup. I mean, each to their own, but if you get a chance to try something that is this po you know, this ex um, experiential, then you're never gonna regret anything like this. It's, it's a really special thing. And I really do hope you get to try it out. So, cafedoncaito.com, um, check out the Geisha Honey Process Coffee. It is awesome. I hope to see you again very, very soon. If I've sort of managed to come back to my normal senses after this, which I'm hoping I will in time. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Tap onto the notifications icon as well so you can get regular updates from our weekly videos. And can't wait to see you again soon on coffeewithgpa.com. I'm gonna go and enjoy the rest of this now. See you again soon.